Thank you, Coolio. And you know it is a fish keeper's paradise. Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you, gang, for joining me today. And we have to do a rescue 911. We have to save these fish. Spock! So here we are in the back of the shop. My buddy Pete just pulled up with the fish in tow. But do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. It's not going to cost you nothing, so do it right now. Thank you. And as you can see, it's raining out. And of course, your buddy Vinny left the fish mobile window down. A nice head. All right. So let's get to the, let's get to the, let's get to the, wow. All right, dude. <laughs> anyway, my buddy Zach, Dan, and Pete, they have two fish that just are incompatible with the aquarium they're in. So they brought them to the shop. And we're going to do a fish rescue. Here they are, the bucket fish. Not a bucket list fish, but just fish that are in a bucket. What are we gonna do with them? They are dying. Let them die. Let them die. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Pump the brakes, James T. It's not that bad. These are fish. They're not Klingons. <laughs> Chill out. These fish are not gonna die. They're not gonna come close to death. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep them in the bucket. I have an aerator going on. They're gonna be fine till I get home from work. And I'm gonna find a tank and we're gonna put them in there. No problem. You, you don't need to get all upset about it. But what kind of fish are these? Let's start with that. First one is a beautiful tiger Oscar. He's just getting picked on. So we gotta put him somewhere else. And you may ask, what is a tiger Oscar? Well, it's not this kind of tiger. Even though I gotta admit, this guy is a snappy dresser. Nope, this is a tiger Oscar. These are a South American cichlid, and the problem with them is they grow to be huge. Really huge. The second fish, it's a four line cat. This is very similar in body shape to a Pictus cat, but it doesn't have all the, uh, you know, the nice markings on it. It starts out with four lines as it gets older, but as they grow, they lose all their markings and they look like this. Now, both of these fish, I should have mentioned, or I probably did mention in my video, don't buy these fish unless you're experienced because they grow to a tremendous size. Like Tom Cruise said, sometimes you just gotta say bucket. What I mean is, make sure if you're transporting fish or you're doing a rescue, I know these aren't giant fish, but it's still a rescue, have a bucket have an aerator on hand, especially those USB aerators. I'm waiting for a couple of those to come in. While I do the rescue, while I get these fish acclimated, I have some big news to tell you guys. Something that happened in 2021 you might not even know about. Breaking news from Binny's Aquatics. All right, gang. I don't know if you heard about this or not, but we actually discovered a new species of fish this year. Yep, yeah, it's probably the only good thing to come out of 2021, because this year has stunk. But, what do we find? Let's go see. Science News is a new species of reef-dwelling fish discovered. So this is from an article from the Science News from February of 2021. And uh, it says a marine biologist from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography has discovered a new species that we've never seen before, a blenny, that are in the waters around the Cocos Islands. Isle del Coco. There you go. See? <laughs> I'm international. And this lies about 350 miles off the Pacific coast of the island of Costa Rica. Now, here's the scientific name. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. There's no way. <laughs> It's not going to happen. I'm going to hurt myself. But here's the fish. All right. Let's give Mr. Hastings a nice thank you for his beautiful, beautiful picture of this, this brand new fish we've never seen. 
I mean, look at all the things we discover. We don't even have a clue what's in our oceans, especially way down deep. And I wonder how long is it going to take for it to stand up in the hobby? If it ever does, it might be a rare species, but you know, somebody's going to try to make a buck off it. Here we are in the top secret underground fish room. I have the Oscar, he's acclimated. I have him inside of the tank with two other Oscars. There's a red parrot, as you can see right there, and a Jack Dempsey. I think, I think I'm gonna call this one Escobar. <laughs> the new one, of course. These are the two older ones. There's the parrotfish, and there he is. There's the new Oscar there. But look at this parrotfish. Look at him. I think he's got a problem. talking to me? Well, then who the hell else are you talking to? Talking to me? Well, I'm the only one here. The close-up of Escobar, I think he darkened up because of the stress, but he seems to be doing fine. He's not laying at the bottom or doing anything weird. Now, did you know, when first found in 1831, Tiger Oscar was mistakenly categorized as aquatic. The good news is, is the blunder was immediately corrected and they've been kept as a tropical water type since. Woo, he really dodged a bullet there. Thank God for that clarification because I would have thought this fish is aquatic, but I would have been wrong. So <laughs> thank you for uh, explaining it to me. And here's the four line catfish. I put him in with the arowana. Uh, it's, it's my medium sized arowana. And the reason I did that is I thought they would get along well because this arowana he lost his mind and he killed everybody else in the tank and just beat them, just beat them mercilessly. Hello, Buster. It's my executive producer, by the way. So this is a medium growing, active schooling fish. The boy line picked this cat. So I was wrong, it actually is a, a type of picked this cat. It's found throughout much of the Amazon, uh, Guiana, and South America. Now, in the wild, they usually inhabit shallow water with medium to fast moving current, and they typically shoal in large groups. Well, gang, I feel really good now. I have both of these fish, they're out of their buckets, they're in the tanks, they seem to be doing fine. Hopefully, I have to keep an eye on the Oscars for any kind of aggression, but I think we'll be okay. I want to thank you guys for coming along on this rescue with me. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys did too. So that's two fish we saved from almost certain death. Oh, not really. They were in a quarantine tank, but whatever. <laughs> Let's play it up for the sake of the video. Thank you guys once again for joining me. And I can't wait to see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. Woo! If you're still here. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button now. You don't want to miss any of the content that's here or coming up at Vinny's Aquatics.